Hey kids, Inverticow here, and welcome back to Imperion Multiplayer. So, I uh, had a bit of an incident yesterday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record it because of how it happened. But, uh, here's what happened to us. Um, I logged into the game just doing like normal, like I normally do, and I usually log out right here on the bridge. I logged into the game and I heard a series of explosions. My ship had no power. Uh, it was out of fuel and had no power. And, you know, I'd come over and I checked the fuel and it's like, yeah, it's out of power. And, you know, it was turned off and <clears throat> not a big deal. And so I grabbed some fuel and topped it up. And I look over and this door, that door, and these two doors were both missing. Now, at that point in time, I thought, okay, that's very weird. Something has happened, and I have no doors. I came down here, run down the stairs, because, you know, and this door was missing. I look over there, and all my cargo boxes and the large constructor were all missing. <clears throat> Turns out we were currently being raided by the pirate faction. Uh, they destroyed all the stuff on the Toothless Shell, which I believe only has uh, taken out of service, and severely damaged everything on, on uh, the biscuit. <clears throat> I immediately grabbed a stack of inventory, ran back upstairs, jumped into the shuttle, uh, flew up and made a valiant effort to vanquish our nemesis, but uh, was quite unsuccessful. As you can see here, the shuttle took a few hits. And these are not the good kind of hits, boys and girls. Yes, uh, took out this whole wing panel, uh, these blocks. Uh, I took a hit on the nose. I mean, Oddly enough, hitting this shuttle in the nose is where the armor is strongest. Like, that's where it was designed to take the damage. Was You punch it in the nose, you're punching through four or five layers of armor. Um, I had taken another hit on the tail fins, and I lost this engine. Um, losing this engine, and then the uh, the ramp and then yet a third one here losing this. Now this shuttle is not meant for um, player versus player combat with uh, small vessels, uh, especially somebody who's got a, a fairly good small vessel like the Reaver's Wrath. The Viper is meant for air superiority combat. Um, everything is guided, everything is fast, it's got the needle guns, the pulses, and the homing rockets. Um, unfortunately, it was also parked at the far end of the runway, so this was the closest ship at hand. <clears throat> Lesson number one learned, keep the, uh, keep the Viper on deck. Lesson number two learned, we have no power in the landing strip, like the the base, the aquatic research center base has been left unpowered and unattended for uh, a few weeks now while we work on building the um, the bunker where everything is. Like this base, literally it's a runway where ships are parked and that's it. Uh, so that being said, there is no guns. There's also no turrets, no defense turrets, no point defense turrets. Um, so we're relying on the point defense turrets that were on the capital vessel, which were turned off. So he was quite able to fly in here unmolested, have his way with our ships, and fly away. Uh, he did have some damage to his ship, from what I understand. I, I can't wait to see the video of it, and it probably will air... 
Uh, if it hasn't aired already by the time of this recording, uh, it will air in a couple of days. Um, so probably sometime this weekend, today being Friday. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> damage done, total damage done. I mean, apart from losing uh, a crate full of ammunition and an another crate full of stuff, he broke the constructor and all of my cargo boxes. Um, took a load of some ship parts and a handful of uh, hardened steel blocks. Um, I need to place another harvest box in there. Yeah. And uh, that was about all he took from us. Uh, a load of fuel, I think, was one other thing that was taken. Um, as per the rules of not being allowed to completely loot and and whatnot, but also the fact that uh, I came on just as he was loading his stuff on the ship. Now, I don't know if uh, blowing up my cargo boxes after the fact, because I'm pretty sure that's the explosion I heard as I logged in. So I'm not sure if he was blowing them up after the fact, after he had already scooped the loot he was going to take, or if he realized that I had just turned the power back on the ship and uh, ran for the covers. Um, now, of course, <clears throat> one of the things I haven't done in this ship, and that was mainly because I have yet to finish equipping it, was I had no internal defense turns. Um, that's going to change. Uh, so, yeah, any other visits to the biscuit will result in having internal defense turns. And he killed my security guard. I am I am going to take a moment of deep silence for the missing security guard. Thank you for that. Okay, let's get back to work. <clears throat> so uh, I have to now repair repair yet again the uh, shuttle. Uh, I still need to put some. Um, some RCS units in the Lightning. It It is a great little fighter, but it is not meant for PvP combat as of yet. Um, and it doesn't turn very fast. Uh, I really don't want to make it into an air superiority fighter because that was not a, never its intention uh, role. But, um, yeah. I still would love to do is get uh, actually get one of the admins and get a bunch of us together and take that out and spawn about 10 or 15 of them in and just dogfight with them for a while because I think it would be a lot of fun. <clears throat> if that will happen is another story but that's how it goes. So that's what happened. Uh, so we're going to see a few changes around here. Um, I've talked to, I'm trying to get only off of his rabid obsession with trying to keep an absolute minimum power use at all times. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, with a little bit of work we can resolve that issue. Um, he did say he was going to make a large engine for me, but I have don't see it yet. So I'm going to head over to the mob grinder. I'm going to go grind mobs for an hour or so and uh, fix up the shuttle. Uh, may or may not go out hunting some more carriers and whatnot. So I don't know what's going to come next. Uh, so I'm going to uh, probably end it right here. And we'll see what happens on the next episode. So thanks all for watching, kids. I know it's a short episode, but that's just a quick update. And good night for now.